Hi folks, I thought I'd make this little video for you because I happen to be in the, pos in the possession of two very similar and very beautiful ukuleles. Um, this one is a Martin Stylo from, or Style One, I'm not sure, from, um, that I recently brought back from a friend from the USA. Um, and this one is my own Ken Tim's ukulele. Um, Ken Tim's is a Luthia based in the UK. Um, and this one I got from uh, the Southern Ukulele store for about £450 last year, although I think they're hard to come by in the shops. Um, usually, if you want a Ken Tim's, you have to um, check, look on eBay. He, I think Ken, what well, he makes these, and when he when they're ready, he puts them on eBay for the you know um, for the best bidder, basically. Um, but I did, I got this one from Southern Ukulele Store last year. I love it. Um, I'll give you a closer look here. It's obviously all solid mahogany, beautiful French polish, rosewood fingerboard. It's very much, as you can see, a clone of an older style Martin. Um, and then so this one I got from the Fretted Instrument Workshop in Amherst, Massachusetts when I was visiting recently. If you're ever in the area in Massachusetts, I highly recommend going and chatting to Tony there because he's a really nice guy and he really knows his stuff um, and he often has he's got lots of amazing beautiful vintage instruments and I got this from him for a friend of mine um, for about six hundred dollars um, so not dissimilar to the price of this one a little bit more um, but this one is it says I don't know if you can focus on that it says Oliver Ditson on the back it doesn't actually say Martin but Martin made ukuleles for Oliver Ditson, which was a shop in Boston and New York. Uh, this one was made for the Oliver Ditson shop in Boston, in the typical um, stylo style. I think Martin did make um, a different body shape for Oliver Ditson in the Oliver Ditson shop in New York, from what I've read. Um, and that had like a dreadnought shaped body. They're really interesting. I hadn't seen those before, but this one is um, the classic Martin style. Um, and from what I can tell and what I've read, it's from um, it's be from between 1919 and 1922 because we have the old style friction pegs and we also have Oliver Ditson written in the sound hole. You probably can't see that. And as I showed you before, Oliver Ditson on the back of the headstock. So it doesn't actually say Martin anywhere, but it is verified that Martin made ukuleles for Oliver Ditson. Um, in the 20s and 30s, I think, and maybe even further. Um, so I'll give you a little sound test of both of these ukuleles. I'd be really interested to know what you think of the difference in sound, um, and which is your favorite, if any. Um, so I'll start with the Martin. Tim's. There, but you get the idea. Oops, back to the Martin. I'll do a bit of strumming.
the Tims. Actually, the Ken Tims, because it's so new, the French polish slips on my jumper, so I make more mistakes on this ukulele. But um, yeah, I'd be really interested to hear what you think. Uh, so, between the Ken Tims, oh, sorry, the Martin uh, style one or style zero from 1919, 1922, the grandfather of my Ken Tims, I think this is 2019. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks folks, thanks for listening.